It's Monday, August the 31st, and I have a box full of mandolins here that need to be bound. And in an effort to show you the whole process, I'm going to pick one mandolin. Uh, we're going to pick number nine. This one's eventually going to Ohio. So we're going to pick number nine, and I'm going to show you all the processes that it takes to get the binding process started. And to begin with, we're going to take this jig right here, route out the neck joint, and this jig here that we'll put the F holes in, and then we'll get some footage of cutting out the scroll and carving it, and then we'll get some footage of cutting the binding channel, and then we'll get some footage of putting that very first piece of binding on. So here we go. Thank you. 
So now we have mandolin number nine, completely bound, sanded down to 100 grit, and ready for the neck. Let's review all of the other jobs that we got done with the batch this week. First, we got the back glued on mandolin number three. Then we got our tags made that are going to be attached to and will follow these mandolins through the entire construction process. Number one, number two, number three, and each tag tells what this mandolin is and what special features it's going to need. Next, we got all of the slots cut out for the necks and all of the scrolls cut out and carved. And so, believe it or not, all those jobs pretty much took up the whole week's worth of work. Uh, one of our subscribers has asked if I would show the tools uh, in more detail that are used to cut the binding channels and stuff out. So that's probably where we'll spend most of our time in next week's video. Uh, speaking of subscribers, if you're not a subscriber yet, please subscribe, hit the like button and all that kind of stuff. Uh, make a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And having said that, we'll look for you in next week's video.